Jazz came about by the mixture of two different types of music. During the slave trade, millions of Africans were brought to the U.S. with strong musical traditions. The Europeans' concept of harmony was combined with the African single-line melody and rhythms, creating jazz. Jazz started in the U.S. around the 1890s, but didn't really make its way to Germany until about the 1920s. The impact of jazz in Germany was very different of that in the U.S. The Germans took a liking to jazz, wanted to hear it. They liked the way it felt incorporating the African rhythms into the music that they already knew. The Germans, at that time, were a very contemporary and modern society. They liked being up with the times and ahead of them if possible. So when jazz came around, it was just another opportunity for the Germans to get ahead. Although the Germans liked jazz, they, like America, didn't like Africans to play it. The U.S. didn't like Africans to play it because lots of Americans didn't like Africans in general because they still had a lot of racism going on and they wanted them to be slaves. At first, I had no clue as to why the Germans didn't particularly like the people of African descent. After doing a little more digging, I found that most of the people in Germany with African descent actually came from France. In fact, most of them were actually in the French army. Now this may seem insignificant, but let's not forget that we're talking about the 1920s, and World War I was right before this. During World War I, France and Germany were enemies, so I'm sure that after this, there had to be some hard feelings towards the French. Since the people of African descent weren't really light, they ruled the night scene. Much like America, the blacks played in clubs and bars at night where the upper class people would not be going. Jazz continued to develop and change styles over the next two decades until World War II. During World War II, Hitler went on his rampage, and including in that was jazz music. Because of this, many musicians, not only jazz, came to the U.S. and went to other allied countries. This caused jazz in Germany to pretty much disappear for a while. Now in Germany, like the US, jazz is still alive and kicking, but is overshadowed by pop and R&B, which is actually around thanks to jazz. Many don't know this, but the chords and bass lines and drum beats used in pop and R&B actually get at their roots from jazz. 